All right, so here we are. We're gonna do our little activity of metal lab. So I have um, in the wells of the spot plate some um, different ionic salt solutions. So uh, aqueous zinc nitrate solution there, um, copper two sulfate here, iron three chloride here, and magnesium sulfate there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of each metal listed on the side and drop it into each of those wells. So we will start with the zinc, and the zinc is kind of a, um, a light silvery metal, some little granules there. A little bit of that one into each of the wells. Next I'll go with copper. So the copper is more of a powder. And it's got a real orange color to it, so a little bit of that. Right, and what we're going to be looking for here is a change in the appearance of the metal. So will it look like the metal is reacting? Next for the iron. And the iron is a very sort of dark gray powder. And then finally, the magnesium metal, which is kind of a, um, a very light gray. They're little turnings, so. Ooh, definitely reacting there. All right, let's give these a few minutes um, and we'll come back and look at them. All right, we're back. It's been about, oh, a minute and a half. Um, I've given these to react, and I've also given them um, a little stir, and so now we'll see what our results are. So going across um, the zinc metal, um, in the first well, there's obviously no reaction there, and we wouldn't really expect one. We wouldn't expect zinc metal to react with its own ion, so that's not surprising. And so all the way diagonally down, that should be our expectation too. Um, the zinc has definitely reacted with the copper two sulfate. I can see some very dark particles on the bottom um, appearing. Uh, the zinc has also, harder to see because these uh, little zinc particles keep floating, um, reacted with the iron three chloride, so that one's a yes. There's some dark particles on the bottom, obviously different than what we put in. Um, but in this last well, there's no reaction between the zinc and the magnesium sulfate. On the copper row, um, I see essentially the unchanged orangey red color of the copper all the way across. So I would say that there are no reactions um, present in, um, in that row. In our iron row, let's see, this first well, the iron powder looks pretty much unchanged. Here, um, iron with copper two sulfate, I definitely see, it's hard to see under the blue, um, but there's some orange appearing underneath there, so I'm gonna call that one a yes. Um, here, this is iron with iron three ions, so we'll call that one a no, um, right? It's not gonna react with itself. And it also appears to be unchanged um, with the magnesium sulfate. And then our bottom row, um, I do see a big change in all three of these wells. So the magnesium, when we put it in, was a very light gray color, and now each of these has um, darkened quite a bit, right? And even a little bit of darkening here, um, but that's because probably magnesium is so reactive that it's actually reacting a little bit with the water. Um, in the solution. So we'll give um, those three across the bottom a yes. Okay, so one more time. Uh, the zinc reacted with the copper two sulfates and the iron three chloride. The copper metal didn't react with anything. The iron reacted with the copper two sulfates and the magnesium reacted with the zinc nitrate, the copper two sulfates, and the iron three chloride.